And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock god Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa in the mighty 1090 studios with Mr. Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Guess what we're talking about today? That's right, Tackle. Fred Hall, and more. You stay tuned. Southern California Sport Fishing Voices. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 10 Night. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with 8-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash, and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. It's time for the spectacular 70th Annual Fred Hall Show, March 2nd to the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center, presented by Progressive. This is the world's largest fishing show, California's largest boat show, and a world-class international travel and hunting show. Celebrating the passion of fishing, boating, hunting, and outdoor recreation for 70 years. Nearly 1,000 booths, hundreds of boats, over 400 seminars presented by Cousins Tackle, a giant kayak and stand-up paddleboard section, California's largest marine electronics display, the Mammoth Lakes Kids Fish Free Trap Pond, Savage Gears Bass Tank, The Accurate Fishing Saltwater Tank, Hobie Kayak Test Drives, Ram Trucks Ultimate Air Dogs, Costa Sporting Chef Cafe, Archery, Scuba, Fly Fishing, Casting, and so much more. Kids Free, Kids Fish Free, Active Military Free. Join us and share in the 70-year legacy of the Fred Hall Show as we celebrate the passion March 2nd through the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Presented by Progressive. Details at FredHall.com. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dino Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dino Wharf. Join the Dino Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the bass capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. Information is the key to success, and inside information is even better. When it comes to fishing, inside information is critical, and that's what FishDope.com delivers. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and save fuel. FishDope.com is the only SST service with a satellite oceanographic PhD on board, the only fish finding service with a spotter plane. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com boasts the largest largest code group anywhere, covering sport boats, commercial boats, and private boaters. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, good luck. Membership costs less than 40 gallons of gas for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, stay tuned for the special code to save $20 on a Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Hey, we got the man, Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle in the studio. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How's it going? There's only one gentleman here. Yeah. <laughs> now there's three. Now there's three of us. Wait, well, oh, I you gotta... mean Adam in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah Ryan. 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 Hey, Ryan. <laughs> Best behavior day for me. I got yeah. both bosses in here. Uh, that's yeah, right, man. So you're going to be a gentleman. Yeah, put a nice yeah. shirt on. You know, yeah. it's here nice and early. For sure. Well, it's uh, it's that time of the year, isn't it? It's, oh, dude. It's, it's, it's time again. <laughs> That's whale right. of a show. <laughs> it's a whale of a show. Yeah. Long Beach and Del Mar. Yeah, here we go, man. <laughs> I know, here it's hard we to believe. Go. But yeah. It's, it's uh, the two-minute warning. Our tackle store looks like an anthill. Everybody is running around. Actually, everybody is calmly just, like, killing it, doing their job. It's just amazing. Everybody is like a well-oiled machine. We've got our to-do list, we've got our inventory list, we've got our price list, we're pricing, packing, and it's just like all coming together. I was Yesterday I was kind of in awe because it's been a little challenging. Some of the stuff's coming in later than normal. I think the manufacturers after the great season are having trouble keeping up with delivering us merchandise. And uh, so it's coming in a little later, and it's just, you know, everybody's just taking it in stride, and we're, we're getting her done. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so... Uh, Fisherman's Landing Tackle, of course, we'll have a little booth at the uh, Fred Hall, Long Beach, and Del Mar. Yeah, we right? have our little kiosk booth yeah. you know, <laughs> over in the corner there by the ATM machine. Yeah, big. <laughs> it's big booth. Yeah, we we have the perfect size booth for us, in my opinion. We we went to a giant booth, and it was just so out of control that you know we we couldn't um, we couldn't make it nice. We have a very nice twenty foot by fifty foot booth. It is a huge booth. Um, it's uh, 20 feet deep, which allows people to come in and shop rather than getting run over in the aisle. We did the whole 10-foot booth uh, for years, and it, and it worked fine. But the 20-foot booth is a, a much better shopping experience. You can get into the booth and and kind of get out of the aisle. And uh, we, you know, we've just um, got it kind of honed to where we like it. We're, we're bringing the top A plus items. Uh, we've gone to every manufacturer and gotten um, you know some very good specials this year. And something you've been working on for y- all year. Oh, uh, I mean... It's a lifetime. Yeah, I yeah. mean, when you go to the ICAST show, you're talking Fred Hall. When, you know, you go to the, the Big Rock show, you're talking. And, you know, you're just constantly honing and, like you say, you know, whittling it down to, you know, the best possible product mix, um, booth layout. Um, you know, we've added one additional person this year to, to help run the booth so that, you know, we can get to people in a, in a timely fashion. And, I mean, you know, in a lot of people's minds, you know, the reason they go to the show, one of the reasons is for the deals. Well, let me tell you, if anybody has been to our Tackle Day event, I think they know that Fisherman's Landing Tackle is not afraid to, to pull out all the stops. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. We've so, got some killer deals. <laughs> so can you tease us a little? You know, um, I people keep asking, you know, what's new? What's the hot deal? And I look, we've got, you know, over a 1,000 items in that booth. And basically everything that we've got is on some kind of a, a good deal. And, I mean, then there's, you know, there's a lot of the uh, traditional standard uh, deals, which are unbelievably good. And, I mean, everybody talks about the Seaguar deal, but that's a, a long-running, it's an item. Everybody goes through multiple schools every year. What's they, the Seaguar? They deal? give uh, buy two, get one free. So you think, oh, 33% off. Well, we're chunking off another 25% or so off of our regular price. Basically, you're buying or so you're buying Seaguar for roughly like fifty percent off, and that's a, a an item you're going to use all you know year long. Use, you know? So I mean, you might as well just stock up. I mean, guy that fishes just the average, you know, sport boat or private boat offshore experience, you know, you get a twenty, a twenty-five, a thirty, a forty, a fifty, and you know, maybe with last year's fishing, you better pick up an eighty. But yeah. <laughs> And and that's on the pink label as well as the premier. Yeah, they've they've added the pink label, which is great. That's their newest uh, fluorocarbon in the lineup. The premier has been the standard issue for you know I don't know how many years now, but a lot of years. And that is just a great special that you yeah. know every person should take advantage of. Um, I, I I've I like the pink. I, I'm I've been using it. it you know what's good? Um, that stems back to the Andy days. Yeah. Andy pink line. And I'm just going to throw it out there. Some of the top, top uh, Marlin tournament fishermen found out through, you know, tons of experimentation. That pink line is, um, you know, it's definitely invisible, gets bit better, whatever you want to call it. And then... Uh, Ask Pete Grossbeck, right? <laughs> well, he's yeah. one of them. He's, you know? he's a guy. And, I mean, this goes back to the Andy days. And then, you know, there was some pink fluorocarbon out. Well, now Seaguar has jumped on... 
on that pretty hard, and I mean that's definitely a, a good way to go for a lot of people. Yeah, and they make the best fluorocarbon there is. So there, you know, when they make it, it's going to be a good one. There's something to be said about what Doug was talking about too, because a lot of those guys, when they're buying tackle, they might be you know like a like a bad company team or or anything similar to that. A lot of them are working on a different tackle purchasing budget than you or I or yes. everybody out there is. You know, I mean this is. This is an unlimited thing where the the cost isn't the concern, the manufacturer isn't the concern, the fact that it's the best and they have the most confidence in. That's the only thing that matters. Never works. And that's what they buy. Yes. All, all of them. Like all, all of the toppest of tier guys, they all buy pink fluorocarbon. And they have the time and budget to experiment like exactly. hardcore. I mean, when they're fishing 30 days before the Bisbee tournament, they can get stuff dialed in. I mean, 30 days is what most guys fish in a year. Yeah. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. So, Seaguar, phenomenal. you got to stock up. Get get your fluorocarbon, the cigar fluorocarbon at the show. What else? What else can we look for? You know, to? the other thing that Fisherman's Landing Tackle is, I, I would almost say famous for, is our iron wall. We have <laughs> it, San Diego sport fishing. Iron is a way of life. I mean, right. it doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, really, but Southern California to use traditional uh, surface and yo-yo irons. And we have a huge jig wall. And, again, we... Uh, I, I just can't imagine that there's any time during the year that you could buy your irons any cheaper. Guys that are going on long-range trips, guys that are fishing their own boat, going down, you know, to Baja. This is the time to just load up on iron. Again, it's, you know, some of the stuff is, is close to 50% off. Um, at the very least, it's probably 40% off. Whoa. And um, we've got everything. I mean, surface iron, yo-yo jigs. And, I mean, talk about the yo-yo iron fishing that we've had Crazy. the last two years. I mean, we have got some seven X's. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's the thing is just that that we, you know we're kind of all so stoked on is we have it. You know, I mean, I know it, it really exactly. is. I mean, you know the the Taddies and Salises and those guys work their butts off so bad and just kind of can't keep up right now. And it's yeah. a great problem to have, but just getting it is is very very difficult. And we're super fortunate to have a couple of great relationships with some of the best jig guys. And absolutely, and I, I'm telling you. We are so loaded. It's just we're like high fiving around the shop, and you're gonna, moving all this well, product. We didn't think we're loaded, Wait a minute. but we thought we were last year. Yeah. We literally ran out. I mean, you're yeah. gonna discount those at the show. That's the thing. Like that's we what I, I like Whoa. so much about what Doug's doing is you you, you want you, you just can't get a seven X heavy yeah. right now. They just don't exist. And so to have crazy good supply and have a crazy good discount. That's what I'm so excited so about. So let's let's talk about this yo yo fishing that's been going on oh. south of the islands. Man. Uh, pretty incredible. And what's been the hot iron? Well, here's here's the thing. Um, we, we're going on two years now of these yellowtail living in Southern California and Northern Baja. And that fish is scattered from San Martin Island all the way up into Orange County. Everything's out, for the most part, on the deep water spots, anywhere from one to 300 feet of water or even deeper. And, you know, what you're probably referring to uh, recently, uh, down on the finger bank, uh, that's uh, below the what island, below the rock pile. Um, 320 feet of water is the most recent, you know, number I heard. But, I mean, I heard guys talking even, you know, deeper than that. But um, the, the number of comments I've heard from professionals and private boat guys is they've never seen volume of yellowtail like this. It is just stacked up. And all up and down the coast like that, you know, you just go into any, any spot like that where you normally fish rock cod, yellowtail stacked up there's anchovy and red crab and they're just gorging themselves so gorging you don't necessarily get a wide open bite every time but with that said three-quarter day boats are running down there which is like a three and a half four hour run they're still picking away 25 to 150 fish on a three-quarter day trip i mean so what have you heard is the hot iron what's the what's the program well everybody wants something with red in it right now because of the red crabs Uh uh-huh but the fact of the matter is if you put a jig in front of their face it's not, in my estimation, the color right now as the weight. And you don't want to be using fish your 6X deep. Junior. You want to get down to the fish. If there's any wind or current, a 7X is probably the ideal jig. Uh, Taddy 4 would be about as small as you'd want to go, and that's considered a pretty beefy jig. Um, I know guys that have fished PL68s on this, and that's a, you know, a giant you know, yesteryear type rock cod jig, but you're fishing rock cod spots, so why wouldn't that be the jig? Yeah. And it's heavy. It gets down fast. So something blowing? something heavy. A 7X is the call. It really is. Um, it's, it's What's heavier, a 6X regular or a 7X? A 7X. A 7X yeah. is heavier than yep. the 6X. And also Different the sh- shape, too, The shape right? probably lends itself to sinking better. It's more of a dart kind of shape. Okay. And 
you know, the the uh, six X is a little flat. flatter kind of thing. It might flutter down a little bit more. Uh-huh. But both, you know, a, a full size six X will do the job right now. But as far as I'm concerned, fifty pound into seven X, and you are good to go. Come on, there you <laughs> go. That's the way to do it. Yeah, they're they're, they're not line shy. No, no, I know so guys don't using fish six twenty pound. pound. No, six, if you're four, if you're fishing pound. your thirty pound, you are asking for trouble. Just uh, and probably not a great idea to use straight spectra because the bite is so violent. A lot of times you rip hooks right out of their mouth, and yeah. it's been proven time and time again. Just you know, take your forty fifty pound mono, drop it down a good durable, high quality monofilament line, and once you get that bite, you pretty much got them. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. So, all right. Pump, so, pump right what, now. I I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fishing. Uh, what what reel are you going to be fishing that yo-yo stuff with? Well, what I, rod? What I, are you, how are you going to match it up? What I, are you What are you going to do? I'm going to say a real traditional good. You want a high speed reel because you want that jig moving, and you don't want to wear yourself out trying to do it. So the days of the jig master are gone. That four to one, we used to wind as fast as we could, and it still wasn't fast enough. But um, I'm going to say that the uh, Torium or Trinidad 20 with 40-pound test. Now, you can put your Spectra as a backing to increase your line capacity if, you know, you use that reel for other purposes, but have a good 100 yards or so of that 40-pound monofilament. Some guys, like I say, go to 50. If you're lucky enough to have an older Trinidad 40, that's um, a very good reel. Um, Anything in that 40 narrow size down to a Trinidad Torium 20 size, that's the range, and high-speed on the 4 size reels, you want that 5-to-1. On the, the smaller reels, you want that 6-to-1 gear ratio. And um, probably going to go with a 7-foot stick, like uh, uh, Calstar Graphiter 700 Heavy or 700 Extra Heavy if you want oh, to. Oh, you want to go Extra Heavy. Um, yeah, that, that Extra Heavy is a good 50-pound. The Heavy is a good 40-pound. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't really want to go too terribly much lighter than that. Some guys prefer a 6 and a half, Some guys prefer an 8, and there's nothing wrong with that, but... For me, a seven foot just feels the most comfortable. Uh, I, I can, you know, put that uh, rod maybe across my knee or, you know, under my arm, and it just feels like the right length. It's the tips further, far enough away from the boat, you know, that you don't feel like your line's going to be, you know, rubbing the boat if the jig starts going under the boat a little bit or something like that. And uh, eight foot's a little long for me. I mean, you know, that yo-yoing takes it out, Ian. You don't need <laughs> and any there's extra. some good but, grade fish in there too. Yeah, I mean this fish. We've had this year has run from three to forty pounds. So, but <laughs> yeah. the average fish right now, I would say twelve to mid twenties, mm-hmm. and a lot of that, say fifteen to, to twenty three pound type stuff. Yeah, uh, they're all nice grade. There's fish. some thirty pounders in so there. There's some thirty pounders 30 in there. Everywhere you go, you can get a thirty pounder. Yeah, and there's been a couple in the flirting with forty, and even one uh, that I know of, forty pounder for sure. Yeah. All right. So you just talked about Torium Calstar. Are they going to be on sale in the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth at the Fred Hall Long Beach Show? Well, I can tell you this. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to find a better time to buy them. <laughs> okay. That, you get it? You got that? Can't talk about sale on those items. However, if you come to the Fisherman's It'd Landing It would be a pretty good time booth, to do it. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. Well, you're not kidding. We're going to have all kinds of fun today and lots of good fishing information. You want to talk about the guru of tackle. The man is here, and we're going to be talking fun, talking Fred Hall, talking deals, and more importantly, we're going to be talking some fishing and having a lot of fun doing it. If you want to get through this morning, we would love to hear from you. Two ways you can be a part of Let's Talk Hookup this morning. First is with our local line. That's 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. That's our local number. Or you can reach us toll free. That toll free line is eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. One more time, eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Not only are we be talking all kinds of fun, talking fishing, man, do we have some cool prizes for you too today. So we're gonna have two winners at the end of the show today, and each of those winners are each going to win a pair of tickets to go to the Long Beach Fred Hall show. So they're each going to get two tickets. And each going to get a $25 gift certificate to Fisherman's Lining Tackle Shop. It's going to be a gift card good for any time you want to purchase it, including at the Fred Hall Show. Oh, man. What was that? <laughs> so you win the tickets and take that $25 gift card and, and redeem it right in the going, Fisherman's Lining Tackle booth. Going to the show for free. You're going to get 25 bucks worth of little shopping spree. So very cool couple of prizes. Again, if you want to get your shot to get through, talk to Doug, 858 
four five seven ten ninety or eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. When we come back, we're gonna be taking your phone calls. Tons of great information coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Southern California's sport fishing voice. Let's talk hook up on the mighty ten ninety. Rock Cod Rick here for West Coast Marine and Parker Boats. You see them all over Southern California waters. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore islands. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all size fishing in the same area as the sporty. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. Of all the boats out there, my boat partner and I chose to get a brand new 25 Parker Center Console from Kevin Kelly and the gang at West Coast Marine and I could not be happier. Wow, what a fishing machine. Parker Marine builds a heavy duty, industrial strength boat probably overbuilt but that's why so many four and six pack charters choose to operate parkers we thank the guys at pinnacle sport fishing season sport fishing one man charters black and blue sport fishing for their confidence in parker boats take it from me if you are ready for a new parker at a fair upfront and honest deal you need to see kevin kelly at west coast marine located at 1555 newport boulevard in costa mesa or check out their inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com Brace yourself for the next generation of Yamaha V6 Offshore Four Strokes. They're lighter, faster, stronger, smarter, and they're Innovation Award winners. These intimidating V6, 300, 250, and 225 horsepower Predators are engineered to be offshore tough. Still, Yamaha's lightweight design makes these outboards up to 73 pounds lighter than 300 horsepower competitors. They're also faster and smarter than their peers up to 19% faster and up to 17% more fuel efficient at cruise RPM. Add all that to a powerful class leading 4.2 liters of big bore V6 displacement and you have a definite competitive advantage. And now these offboards are available with the advanced precision of Helmmaster, Yamaha's fully integrated boat control system. Power, precision, efficiency, reliability, the next generation of Yamaha V6 offshore four strokes. They're miles ahead of the competition, and they're at a dealer near you. Meet them today at your local Yamaha dealer. Hellmaster available with V6s purchased only as part of new boat packages from Boat Builder Partners. Stop by the giant Turner's Outdoorsman booth at the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach. Over 10,000 square feet of tremendous savings for the first-time angler to the seasoned veteran. The Turner's Outdoorsman booth will have unbelievable specials so crazy they are only available at the show. Here are just a few. The largest stock of Avet Blems ever at unbelievable prices. Seaguar Premier and Pink Label. Buy 50 yards, get 25 free. The hook selection is enormous at the Turner's Outdoorsman booth and all on sale. Buy two, get one free on Mustad, Gamakatsu, and Trocar. The best tackle guys from around the Turner's Outdoorsman's stores will be there to help. Make the Turner's Outdoorsman booth your first stop to load up for the upcoming fishing season. Turner's Outdoorsman at the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach, where the deals can't be beat. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Leonero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Rancho Leonero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2252. 1-800-646-Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hey, phones are packing up. In fact, you know what? They're full. Yeah, they're done. They're yeah, done packing. They're, back. they're, they're done packing. Pack. <laughs> Everybody wants to go to the Fred Hall Show and go on a spending spree with that $25 gift card to Fisherman's Landing Tackle here. Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Rock Cod Rick from Rick, Fisherman's Landing Tackle, I guess, your partner. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your partner in the in the in, in the show here. Right? Yep, well, absolutely. Yeah. Well, tra- fishing partner. Yeah, I, mean, I don't exactly. know about exactly all of that. All the above. <laughs> We're fishing partners. We're business partners. That's We're right. buddies. That's <laughs> right. Mean, Got it all going. I know, right? Here. It's a beautiful thing. It is. Hey, I want to be sure that you check out this week's edition of Western Out There News. Lots of good information in Western Out There News this week. And Gary Graham wrote a great article toward the back of Western Out There News this week about the Baja Road and how they're improving the Baja Road, which is 
really kind of exciting for those of you that want to trailer boats down to Baja wow. and, and uh, that opportunity there. So check it out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News, and I'll watch for next week's oh, edition man. of Western Outdoor News. What do they call it, the book? Yeah, the novel. The just, novel. It's, just, you know, it's like a phone book getting delivered every year. Like I've got to feel so bad for the you know for the postman that one week. Uh, that, that Western yeah. Outdoor News is Thing about is, the size of the yellow pages. Yeah, so check it out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Let's hey, jump into those phones. Right you got that, man. How about we start it off with Don? He's calling us from Woodland Hills this morning. Don, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Morning, Don. Um, my question, my question is for Doug this morning. Um, I got to admit, when I put Spectra on my reels, I really didn't um, write down what pound test it was. So my question is, is there an easy way to tell between fifty and sixty-five and eighty-pound Spectra? Um, you know, there's different manufacturers, and they take on slightly different characteristics. Um, do you happen to know the brand that you might have put on those reels? Um, no. Okay, well, that's not a big deal, but um, I, what I would recommend is if you're in our area, you can come into our store. If you're in another area, I'm sure any number of the good t- tackle stores out there can help you. Um, you can just get a, a one-foot-long sample of every pound test and uh, lay it out, you know, on a dark surface if it's a white or on a light surface if it's like a green spectra. And um, you can kind of tell, um, they're, you know, from 50 to 65, you think they're pretty much identical, but... You know, um, lay them out and look at them and then exchange positions so that, you know, the one that's further away from you, you know, so that you can kind of get an idea. You'll be able to tell yeah. if it's 50 or 65 or 80 or whatever you've got. Okay. All right. Very good. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up at 877-792-1090. John in Los Alamitos, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, John. Thanks for joining us. My question is for Doug. Uh, how's the yellowtail fish in at Coronado's? You know, the Coronado Islands has been as good as it gets over the last two years, but um, in this current, you know, week and a half period of time, the fishing's been better down on the finger bank. And, uh, you know, starting about the rock pile and then down, you know, 10, 12, 15 miles below that, um, the Coronados have had a lot of smaller fish right. this winter, like that 3 to 10-pound stuff. And uh, the bigger fish seem to be out on the rock cod spots, so... Um, I would say right now the Coronados is not the the A plus choice. Um, I'm sure if you went to the Coronados, hit all the normal spots, you'd have a chance to get some fish. But if it was me, um, I'd uh, if I was going to the islands, I'd probably go out into the you know two to three to three hundred and fifty feet of water and meter around there. And um, you know that's probably where you're going to find the the slightly better quality. Off, like off North Island there, a lot of times. Uh, over this last stretch, that's where the little bit nicer fish have been, you know, even up to 25 plus pounds. But uh, not the uh, not the A plus uh, destination right now. Yeah. This is definitely the time of year when you know I'm a private boat fanatic. I'm you know I got my dream boat now with the Parker and everything. But this is a time of year when it is definitely fun and maybe pays to just just jump on a three quarter day boat. You know, I mean, is it private boatable? Absolutely, it is. And you know and and will I be taking the Parker down there? Absolutely, I will. That being said, this is not a bad time to just get on the boat, get your get your breakfast burrito, let a boat that's got a full side scanning sonar because it's not a lot of visual fishing right now. You know, as the year in, you know goes on and the fish become higher in the water column and the birds get on it and all the visual signs get there, that's a whole other story. But right now, go on a sport boat that's got a killer side scanning sonar that's going to sonar up a bar, ball of yellowtail that's on the bottom and have your boat cheeseburger on the way back and then step off the boat and go. Uh, like, this is, this is sport boat time. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's for sure. You know, the other interesting thing, you know, I was down there on Monday, and the water on the islands is green. Yep. Green, 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 green. Not that you can't catch yellowtail in green water. It happens all the time. But as you get down to the rock pile and below, it's beautiful blue water. And yep. down in that area uh, there, real blued up. It's it's and loaded with red crab and I, birds and stuff like that. I don't ever predict fish, but if I was ever going to predict anything, I think we're going to have a great spring yeah, of yellowtail. So there is so uh, much fish around. So <laughs> much volume of fish around. I'll, yeah, for sure. We'll have to put up on our Facebook page. Maybe I'll try and do that before the show's over. But one of the guys that works in the shop, Nick Boone, and his dad Doug, they've got a 25 Parker also, and they were down there the other day, and Nick sent me a picture just of like a little picture that he took of his meter from the first school that they ran over. And there huh. there literally is like 70 feet right. of yellowtail. Yeah. I mean, it, it is just a giant school that, you know, it's like, oh, this is the first one that we ran over. Check this out. It, it's 
And and Carl, who works in the shop, he was down there in the Malahini a couple of days previous and just said the same thing that you know that the schools that are down there are just they they you know, it's jaw dropping. I mean, yeah. yep. you're in 300 feet of water and from 50 <laughs> feet to 200 feet, there's a school of yellow yellow. It's crazy. It's, it's just so much food in the last few years. That's been the case and. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a good year, man. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Matt in La Mesa, you're up next with Doug. Uh, good morning, Matt. How are you? Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Doug. God, I cannot wait for Long Beach this year. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. <laughs> Neither can I, we. <laughs> I did not get to go last year, unfortunately. This year, I definitely definitely will be there. Nice. Um, CalStar, is there anything new coming out with them this year? And how does... How does the uh, CalStar 700 series, or I should say the 770 series, how do those stack up against the um, uh, Shimano uh, rail rods? Because I have I have the Shimano rail rod, and I absolutely love it. I'm just wondering how do what are the differences between the 770s and the uh, Shimano rods? Yeah, I mean, as far as your first question, what does uh, CalStar have that is new? I mean, basically, when you have this pretty much state-of-the-art and with the number of, of different models and series of rods that they have, there's not a lot of room to reinvent the wheel a third and fourth time. Um, they've got a huge selection. They've evolved with the Southern California uh, saltwater and long-range type fishing. Um, so they pretty much have, um, you know, a great lineup. Um, you talk about that Shimano rail rod. That is a nice piece of gear. Um, unbelievable. They they did their homework. Um, they you know they have at their disposal anytime they want our long range fleet to do field testing. Um, they also utilized Pete and Rick for field testing and got comments from the pros. And um, I'm going to say if you have a CalStar 770 or if you've got one of the Shimano rail rods. Um, those are probably among the top, probably are the top rods you can buy for that. Um, you know, the the third one I'd throw in there is Seeker. You know, those are all the top, top, top quality, manufactured correctly rail rods. And then it just becomes a matter of, you know, if you like one guide over another guide or if you like, you know, the grip material over the grip material on another one or, you know, just little minor tweaks, but um, you close your eyes, pick one of those out of the rack, and go catch a, you know, 200 to 300 pound tuna. And are those going to be on sale at the Fisherman's Landing Tackle Booth yep. in Long Beach? CalStar is going to be directly across the aisle from us, and so we will definitely have some deals on those. Uh, Shimano products, we, uh, you know, respect their MSRP, uh, so there's no discounting, but there's always incentives uh, going on for various things. Um, I know with the CalStar, they're giving a free T-shirt, and... Uh, you know, everybody loves a free T-shirt at the Fred Hall Show. It's, I mean, you know, the discounting, of course, everybody loves that. But um, there's just something about, you know, it's like a competition who can collect the most free T-shirts. So um, CalStar's got a really cool classic T-shirt, and they're giving that away with purchase of any rod in the booth there. So we're cool. kind of stoked about that one. The one thing that I will say, too, is is rail rod evolution has evolved a bunch, and that's what I like so much about that new Therese rod is, you know, with, that became – it was one of those things where – you know, probably five as recent as five or six years ago when we would you know a guy would come in and say i'm you know going long range fishing i'm kind of new to it this is what i want to do we would always we would always build a rod uh, very commonly at like six and a half feet that way it was still short enough that a guy could co- you know comfortably fish in his belt and harness and you would you know you would change the handle lengths and grips a little bit so that there was accommodating for both and then as like the technique with fishing the rail has improved and become the more popular way so have the rods for it. you know where where they uh, like the 770 series like matt's talking about they're they're much different you know calstar already makes heavy seven foot rods they're, yes. they're the graphiter 700s but the 770s are also seven foot rods and also heavy but but they bend in much different spots so that when you put the rod on the rail a different part of the rod is bending and the the grips are longer in some places and longer in the other spots and you know the the guide train is different. Like everything is built specifically for that fishing, and that's the thing about Calstar is like they make those rods just for that. That Therese rail rod. I mean, it was built just for catching a 200 pounder on a long range boat. Yeah, and and the thing I, we've we fished them both. Uh, like Doug said, uh, Rick and I had had a hand in in developing and, and field testing those rods that uh, Shimano built, <clears throat> and they nailed it. They, they absolutely nailed it. Nailed they really it. did. And 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 and. Man fished a lot with the Calstar 770 series. Great rod. 
But the thing I like about the Terez, Shimano Terez rail rod is it's a little lighter. It, it is. Lighter weight. So if you can hang longer. on to that thing for a lot of hours, soaking a sardine to catch that big one, yeah, a little lighter point. weight. Yeah. And it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lesser expensive. That's I mean, there's a which too, you don't yeah. always yep. see that yeah. particular rod going for lesser than some things, and yeah. it's pretty nice, man. They they nailed it. You're right. It's so, a really cool rod. Check it out. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. You know, speaking of long range fishing, uh, the Royal Star has a couple of spots left on our Let's Talk Hook Up Fly Down Fly Back trip. There was a couple cancellations. Been full for a year. They had a couple cancellations. I can't believe. There's still spots available. You basically load your gear in San Diego. Three days later, fly down to Cabo, meet the boat, go fishing for 11 days, come back to Cabo, uh, fly home, and then meet the boat three days later with your fish and your gear. Uh, It's the unbelievable great way to do long-range fishing if you're short on time. Or even if you're long on time, you don't want that boat ride. (laughs) That's that's the way to go. So check it out, RoyalStarsportFishing.com. You can book right online there. And uh, go on that uh, that trip in April. It's uh, it's mid-April. You, I'm telling you, I go every year. This is the only year I'm uh, the man. Gary White is going in my place this year, Iron man. Oh. and I am just kind of going. <laughs> 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 but uh, go on, get on that trip because it's pretty awesome. You got it. Hey, well, with that, it's time to find out what's biting in the Baja. It's time for a cast tours report today, sponsored in part by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. It's long range season and time to pre-book your processing orders before your trip. That way, you're the first in line when your trip returns. You can friend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing, or for more details. Details, go to fishermansprocessing.com. And I had a special thank you to put out from our caller, Jim, from National City. He said he listened to the show, Shauna Rosie, talked about how much he liked it. And he goes, you know, I always pick something up every time. And he goes, I never really did that whole defrosting thing with the paper towels. And, oh, my God, what a difference. So he, he difference. wanted to make sure that I gave kudos to Shauna Rosie because it was a really fun show with him on there. And those guys definitely handle their business when it comes to fish. Indeed. Hey, let's find out what's going on in the Baja. We got the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Castor, standing by. What's up, cast man? Hey, buenos dias, Ricky. Oh, just, uh, here, you know, sitting here enjoying this beautiful morning. You know, it's uh, nice and uh, nice and sunny here in Orange County and uh, just enjoying the day and listening to the show. And uh, you guys were talking about where to find fish. And, man, I'll tell you, I got the hot spot right now, and that's Ixtapa Zihuantanejo. Really some fabulous fishing going on down there. Of course, that's our main winter destination that we send a lot of people a call. Hey, man, I got to get out and catch some fish here during the winter. What do you recommend? And we always point them toward we can stop as you want in Ajo, but uh, Blue Water's out about five to six miles off the harbor there. Uh, getting quite a few sales. Uh, boats are averaging two to three uh, releases per day, and uh, they're getting all oh, anywhere from seven to eight to come up on the pattern. Um, and like I say, they are releasing two to three per day there. Uh, they've also located some fairly good-sized tuna, uh, anywhere from 100 to 150-pound fish out about 18 miles. Uh, and the boats are, you know, starting to get into them now because they, it's kind of unusual that they come in that close. Sometimes they'll find them out at 40 to 50. Uh, inshore fishing there is very, very good, uh, for roosters up around Ixtapa Island, along with, uh, a lot of jacks and, you know, throwing poppers and, and trolling uh, rig baits is probably the best way to get those fish to jump on your hook. But, uh, some, like I say, that's the number one spot in Mexico right now. And, uh, highly recommend if you're looking to get away for a great, winter fishery that's a place to go as far as cabo san lucas and san jose del cabo go kind of dropped down a bit uh maybe about one in three boats are getting into the striped marlin um they're getting a few dorado gordo banks um i understand has been giving up some 100 150 pound tuna not very many the problem has been those north winds are kind of making it tough for people to get out there and fish that area um and there was a about a 350 pound black marlin caught which is really unusual for for that to be going on in February. So, you know, it's still, I don't, I don't know, maybe the El Nino still, but uh, water temperatures didn't seem to, to drop down too much. Uh, they're holding around 80, 81, 81 degrees uh, in some of the areas. They're down to 78. But uh, otherwise, uh, some great fishing going on down down in the Baja, you know, like I said, but number one spot you want to go. Big stop as you want to go. Great flights out of L.A. on Alaska Airlines, three-hour flight, and you're there. And beautiful uh Beautiful hotels on the beaches there at Ixtapa, you know, great restaurants, all-inclusive hotels, but great, great place to go. Anyway, that's the report for this week, Pete and Ricky, and I'll talk to you guys next Saturday. Anybody wants to join us on that uh, uh, Let's Talk Cook-Up trip down to uh, uh, Christmas Island, I still have that one spot available, and that will uh, be departing uh, 
May 17 to 24, and a uh, you know, fabulous, fabulous trip. So I'll give you guys a call. See you guys at the Fred Hall Show. That's yeah, coming up indeed. In about two Looking weeks. forward to seeing the, gir- the girls, the cast girls at the Fred Hall Show. I don't know about you, past cast girls. <laughs> I know. I get I know. enough you of get you. My, you know? get yeah. my ugly kisser there yeah. behind the booth. And, <laughs> but, yeah, no, a matter of fact, talking about the show, I've got uh, the girls are working on the flyers right now for the booth, and uh, and uh, hopefully they'll have them ready here next weekend. And, gosh, we're moving in uh Next, uh, we'll move next Tuesday, and the show is uh, set the following Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, move in, yeah, you betcha. All right, looking forward to it, Castman, and we'll talk to you next week. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks a lot for that. All Appreciate right, that. hey, let's jump right back into the phones. They are still packed, absolutely solid. Let's talk to Bob. He's calling from Santee. Good morning, Bob. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Bob. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Looking forward to the show as well. Um, you kind of answered some of my questions about the rail rods with Matt, but one thing I noticed is why did the rail rods have um, conventional or turbo guides rather than roller guides? Well, you know, back in the day, um, every tuner rod was made with roller guides, and it just has kind of evolved that the materials that they're able to use on the ring guides and the fact that the ring guide has a larger opening than a roller guide. You know, some of the connections that we tied in the earlier days were quite large connections, and they'd get hung up in the roller guides. So, just slowly but surely, um, you know, as pendulums do, that you know, it swung, uh, it swung completely the other direction, and um, you just see uh, ring guides for those reasons. The uh, the materials work, uh, you know, very well. Uh, even on the spectra, everybody's worried about spectra line. You know, it's going to cut a groove in your guide. Well, that was proven time and time again. That didn't happen, and you can use uh, you know a, a size 10 or 12 ring in your guides and your tips, so those connections can go zinging right through there. Even some guys were experimenting with those Aussie-type uh, elongated swivels um, that would, they would wind right onto the right, right onto the reel there. So um, that's just kind of uh, – it, it just seems to work well. Um, the other thing, too, is, you know, you, you end up getting you, – you put uh, typically less guides with a roller guide for some reason. Um, you always end up with one extra guide, and um, so that's probably a good thing to have, you know, eight guides instead of six or seven, um, just – it kind of spreads out the load uh, along the blank. So um, that's just, uh, you know, that's standard issue and for good reason. I think some of the spectra, the way that we fish big fish, too, has a lot to do with it. You know, like you were saying, back in the day, we would fish all mono. You need fish a, a 30 wide or a 50 wide that was full of 80 pound and 100 pound. And then it became, you know, you'd fish 300 yards of spectra and 300 yards of mono. Now the, the, the typical big fish setup is a reel that is full to the brim of Holloways, and then you fish literally a 15 or 20 foot piece of fluorocarbon. So you don't have the, your mono wearing down in size like you did. I mean, there's no better example in the world at how effective a roller guide is than watching that killer Aftco two rods, you know, right. the amount of strain that comes on a piece of mono that wears it down. Well, there's less mono in the equation now so that in the spectra doesn't wear down like, you know, like, like the mono does. So, yeah, you, you know, especially if you use a quality ring guide. Exactly. So nowadays, yep. when you're by the time your mono's on the reel, they're putting a gaff in the thing. You know, I mean, your your top shot barely makes its way through the guide one time before that before that fish is at, at both sides. There you go. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. How about next up? We talked to Robert. He's actually calling with San Diego Vessel Assist. Hey, Robert. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for joining Thanks for us. Good morning. <laughs> actually, we're Towboat US now. We've rebranded our name. Um, always been towboat us on the east coast now we've just got the same name we still have vessel assist on our boat but the big letters are towboat us <laughs> yeah um, i have a comment and then a question uh, my comment is uh we have a lot of people fishing la jolla right now for the yellowtail and i just want to make sure that everybody's aware with this big ground swell we're getting uh typical of an el nino year um i want to make sure everybody's aware of their drift especially if they're yo-yoing for yellowtail we're getting quite a few uh cases where the people end up very near the surf line uh, when they realize they have a problem. So when they're out there, just be aware of that big ground swell because it, it will push you a little quicker than, than what we norm- we're normally used to. Boy, that's a good point, and yeah, we've had some huge swells, in case in point, today. Yes. Another big one today, and you really got to watch it, especially if you're drifting over, you know, La Jolla, Point Loma, all those areas, right? Yes. And then uh, my question was uh, – I'm not sure if you guys do anything with the uh, Yellowtail Derby, but we're going to be the title sponsors this year. And uh, that Yellowtail Derby is a great program. It's a 34, 35-day tournament. 
and you don't have to fish every single day. It's really inexpensive to get into, and they have a great uh, they have a great thing before it starts, and then a great uh, award ceremony after it's over with. But uh, might be something to look into. Yeah, I think um, Rock Cod Rick might have looked into that last year when he was collecting first prize there. <laughs> yeah, we have the defending champion sitting right here. Well, he got lucky. I, I'm entering. I'm actually going to be in it this year. I got my I got my first private boat after 27 years of towing boats. So uh, <laughs> nice. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out there to dethrone him this year. There you oh, go. there you go, Ooh, Robert. Any, any side lucky. bets? Uh, yeah. 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 Am I All right, we'll a side bet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on that, Robert. And, hey, thanks for uh, your service too. Uh, you guys provide a great service out there and uh, work real hard. So we appreciate your efforts. All right, thanks for taking my call. Thanks, Robert. Thanks a lot for the call. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, catch reports, tons of great stuff coming up with the man, Doug Kern of Fisherman's Landing. You stay tuned. It's more Let's Talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Rick Jensen with Sport Fishing Financial. By now, some of you have already been out fishing with me or even on board as new clients. For others out there who couldn't make it during the recent offshore fishing season, now's a great time to see how we can help you. Business owners with 401ks or qualified retirement plans, you know things could be better, and why don't we sit down and see how we can make it better. Business owners that are out there that don't have a plan, I'll walk you through the steps and create the plan that's right for you and your employees. For others that have retirement plans with former employers or personal IRAs, let's put them to work where you know how much risk you're exposed to and what kind of expenses you're being charged. Now's the time to put more focus on the long-term funding of your fishing lifestyle. Rick and I had some great times together out on the water this season, and I know you're going to enjoy meeting him. Managing your investment accounts should be simple and efficient. Give Rick a call at 949-481-1807 or find him on the web at sportfishingfinancial.com. It's big, it's comfortable, and she is beautiful. The -the state-of-the-art, long-range sport fishing vessel, the Independence. Veteran captains Mark Paisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112-foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Captain Jeff Dubois has helped make the Independence a top-notch operation. Call Independent Sport Fishing at 619-226-6006 or check the availability on spring, summer, and fall trips now at independentsportfishing.com. Holy smokes. It's Cabo San Lucas we're talking about. And I've got you covered. This is Cabo Bruce with CaboFishTime.com. Now, Pete and I have been talking, and we know what you want. Great deals on condos and fishing wrapped up into one. CaboFishTime.com is your single source for everything Cabo. And the cool part is, you'll always work with me, Cabo Bruce. As I like to say, I'll have you from the moment you land to the time you leave. Everything. Transportation or car rental. The finest suites you'll ever find at unbelievable prices. Great fishing, of course. Amazing dining and activities and the best service, period. Call me or text me, 951-323-1872, or head for our website, CaboFishTime.com. Again, that's CaboFishTime.com for your next Cabo vacation. This is Captain Art Taylor of the 95-Foot Searcher. Team Searcher would like to thank all of our great customers for their support in our fantastic 2015 season. The Searcher has a fantastic crew, great food, air-conditioned cabins and galley, satellite TV, and an RSW system to preserve your catch. Our 2016 schedule is out, so don't miss the boat. Book your trip online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia and Jen at 619-226. 6203. That's 619 226 2403. If you are ready to experience a real Alaska fishing adventure, check out Whaler's Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska. The calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large towns, so you will enjoy a wilderness adventure without any crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there is no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Whaler's Cove also offers Fantastic freshwater fishing in wilderness streams for wild salmon and trout. The Whalers Cove experience will fulfill your wildest Alaskan dreams on the calm water of the Inside Passage or on a spectacular stream. It's your choice every day at the Whalers Cove Lodge. After fishing, you will dine on fabulous meals created daily by the Whalers Cove chefs and relax in your comfortable room or cabin. Learn more about this exciting Alaska destination on their website at whalerscovelodge.com or call 800-423-3123. Whalers Cove Lodge, a real Alaskan fishing adventure. Hey, this is Captain Paul Hebert from the Wicked Pessa. 
My brother Bruce and I make a living catching giant bluefin tuna. In fact, I wouldn't even go fishing with any other sunglasses in Maui Gym. Put a pair of Maui Gyms on and instantly the glare is gone, the UV that can damage your eyes is gone, the ocean's true colors come shining through like never before. And with more contrast and clarity, you can see the bluefin at that critical time. Take it from me. Try a pair at your local tackle shop or check out MauiJim.com. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> XSRFS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. Oh, right. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. We just heard him. Here he is. Cabo Bruce from Good morning, all my pals. How's Cabo everybody now? doing? Hey, doing great, Bruce. How are you? Doing very well. I've got uh, a little follow-up on what Casman had to say. Um, fishing is good down in Cabo, and um, I wanted to give a shout-out to my buddy uh, Hugo Pino from La Playita. He's the guy who got the 350-pound black marlin. Sweet. And uh, the way he got that deal, and you guys will take interest in this, um, he was trolling a live caballito. That's how he got it. Wow. No now, now wow. La Playita, isn't that a ponga fleet? You bet, and that's I'm glad you mentioned that because the pongas are ripping it, man. Man, and that's kind of in, up in San Jose area, right? Exactly right. Yeah. So now do you have opportunities in Cabo San Lucas and San Jose? Yeah, we work with both, well, with everybody in, in both. And wherever the action is, that's where we send our people. Uh, we have people picked up if they don't have their own cars. And uh, we drive them up there to San Jose uh, to get them all fixed up, and their boats are all ready, and, and bait and lunch and everything else. Nice. So you have some spring specials you wanted to talk about, right? You know, we don't offer many specials, Pete, as you know. And we in spring break, we really don't have to. But for all the Let's Talk hookup listeners, and li- our listeners only doing two things, our rates are already fantastic, the best in Cabo. But we're going to knock off 20% our regular prices plus – offer free dinner at El Corral downtown, and you know El Corral. Oh, there. yeah. Awesome place. Yeah, for sure. Wow, that's a heck of a deal for our listeners only. 20% yeah. off your already heavily discounted rates, and then free dinner at El Corral. Yes. Uh, my cool. buddy Roberto over there is, takes really good care of everybody, and as a matter of fact, this is not a well-known secret, um, but... If you go and have dinner there, you can drink all the tequila you want, if you like tequila. Then. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Like, <laughs> I'm not really a fan, but it'd be rude not to yeah, take. Yeah, it'd be absolutely know? rude. It would, yeah, you'd right. insult uh, the, I wouldn't the, the want proprietor. to do that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And did I, did I mention that with dinner, the tequila is F-R-E-E, no charge. Sweet. How cool. That's a nice deal. All right, Bruce, so how do we get a hold of you? We want to take advantage of these. The, now, you have the best hotels, like the place we stayed at. Uh, uh, Pueblo, uh, the Pueblo ni Benito Rosé, Blanco, nice, yeah. for like half the price, and then you're taking another 20% off of those rates, uh, either San Jose or Cabo San Lucas. How do we get a hold of you? We want to take advantage of that special. A couple of different ways, of course. My phone number, I'm right here. You can call me, 951-323-1872, 951-323-1872, or always go to my website, www.cabofishtime.com. CaboFishTime.com. Okay, Cabo Bruce, thanks a lot for that great deal for our listeners. Appreciate that. You betcha. Thanks for having me on. All right, you bet. All right, well, hey, with that, we're going to find out what's going on on the water. we got the man, Captain Jeff Du Bois from the Independence, is calling us right now. Good morning, Jeff. Yeah, hey, good morning, Ricky and uh, Pete. And I'm not sure, sure who's on the show, but good morning. we got uh, Doug Kern this morning joining us, and we're all very anxious to hear what's going on on the water. Well, we are just rolling up the line here from a 15 there. We'll be in in the morning. And, again, this go-around was um, good fishing down below, either the bank or the buffer zone. We fished both, and the buffer zone for us was uh, was the hot ticket. Um, you know, the average fish down there, I'd have to say, again, the average fish down there, at least for us, was probably around 150 pounds. The, the slot size is, is still, it, it's, it's like 
125 to, to 170, a few bigger, a few smaller. Um, more like one, 130 to 180 is, is probably more realistic. Some days are better than others. Um, the, the 20 to 35 fish a day, average being 30 fish a day on that quality fish is, is really outstanding. There's, um, there's uh, the early and late during the day being the best times. Um, a shot of cows every day. I think we had six or seven cows uh, up to about 260. And the weather was the best part about it. We have we had 13 days of absolutely gorgeous flat calm weather. Yesterday and this morning we got a little bit of wind here, but um, all in all, you know things down there really look good, rolling right along. Good fishing, um, decent uh, wahoo fishing on and off, depending on where you were. And uh, all in all, just, you know, outstanding. What, what a great year down there. Yeah. So, oh, God. What what amazing fishing that is. And, and you talk about action. I mean, what's wrong with getting lots of 150-pounders, right? Well, just that, yeah. Yeah, it really is. I mean, um, we, we had um, oh, a handful of novices on this particular trip, limited load. And each one of those guys have have six or seven of those those one forty to to one eighty fives, you know. Really crazy. That's crazy awesome. Crazy good. That is awesome. Well if somebody wants to come aboard the independence, uh you have any spots available, Jeff? You know, Pete, we do. We're gonna we're gonna be in tomorrow. We start our maintenance on Monday and then we have the show. We have uh, a trip at the end of um March and a trip a seventeen day or in April. And they both have a few spots on them, so uh, wow. get in on it. Call Judy, 619-226-6006, or just look us up on the web, independentsportfishing.com. I tell you, it's one of the better years I, I can recall in quite a while here. Quality is definitely there. That's awesome, man. Well, get on board the Independence, the big, comfortable ride there, and you guys are going to be at the show. Definitely, we'll see you there. Yeah. Now you're not gonna you're gonna be in maintenance, so I take it the boat won't be up there. You know, Pete, I'm not really sure. We're we're gonna haul out Monday morning, and we'll just see uh, see how it goes from there. You know. Roger. All right. Very good. Well, it's always kind of nice if if the boat is there to go aboard it right across the bridge there, across from the convention center, and walk in, and hopefully you can get your maintenance done, and we can uh, we can see the boat. Definitely, we're working on it. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Safe ride home, and we'll see you at the show. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Well, hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More catch reports, more your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. It's Fred Hall Show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. The best selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including a complete selection of accurate reels, including the ATD, Dauntless, Fury, and the exciting new Valiant 300, the ultimate small reel for big fish. Fisherman's Landing Tackle has the best selection, along with staff that has used the gear and knows your needs. Come see our best booth ever, Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must for this year's Fred Hall Show. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over 15 years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fishing charter captains in all of Sitka, and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every year and salmon well sitka is famous for some of the best runs in alaska we also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod and when it comes to fish processing the best in alaska is kingfisher charters and listen to this it's all included in your package in fact everything is included except the tips it's truly amazing how the kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year come and join me on the let's talk hookup trip in june or just go when you can kingfisher charters 800-727-6136 or check kingfisharcharters.com. 
The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel now at your local Shimano dealer. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and is tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The new Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel it has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears the machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish the new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control available in three sizes the torium hg is the next evolution in compact rigid and powerful saltwater star drag reels get it now at your local shimano dealers XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. Oh, Rush. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 55 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built for ultimate performance on the water. From our next-generation fishing shorts like the Tactical Camo or Stealth Shorts to our AFBlock sun protection shirts like the Fish Ninja and Samurai Sun Hoodie, the entire AFCO clothing lineup is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and designed with functional features to deliver top Top performance for the demanding angler. Visit www.afco.com to find a dealer near you. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars trucks and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with 8-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at... 